I swear with me posting daily videos or like almost daily videos the weeks go by super quick I feel like it was just Wednesday and I was filming a Salvation Wacky Wednesday video but it is Wednesday we are doing it again I just pulled up the Salvation Army now usually I come here as soon as they open about 9 10 o'clock but I did have plans this morning so it is 12 30 I got here a little bit later we're gonna see maybe we don't find anything maybe we find out some things I do know that they do bring out new stuff throughout the day but honestly obviously for First, like early birds get the worm and usually when you go at 9 30 people have full carts full so we might not find anything but I figured you know what it is wacky Wednesday we gotta do it I am by myself today I'm not with my friend and yo you guys need to chill out in the comments because you guys give her like such a hard time at the end of the day she's not here for your guys entertainment like this is my video this is my vlog she didn't sign up for any of that like I know only a few thousand people watch it but at the end of the day if she doesn't want to be on a video she doesn't want to be on a video like I know you guys are like oh like that's disrespectful she doesn't want to be on your video like yo I'm doing my thing yes we hang out yes we go thrifting yes we'll get food or whatever but at the end of the day I'm making my video because this is my job this is my work so if she doesn't want to be in it or if I happen to show her in it or whatever the case may be give her a break guys at the end of the day it's just a friend that I hang out with uh, I, you know I enjoy my time with her so just keep that as is I know you guys love to roast people in the comments but just leave it as is but enough of that, let's quickly jump into Salvation Army. Let's hope we find some good things. Smash the thumbs up button, subscribe if you're not subscribed, and let's get it, guys. So I usually always start out the jacket section, just because of the jacket section, you can usually find the nicest stuff. And, you know, it's it's the best. It's the easiest stuff to go through. Like, look at this, brand, not brand new, but new age Tommy Hilfiger. Little like corduroy best 750 50% off, so it's only gonna be three dollars and uh, like three dollars and 25 cents or so, three dollars 50 cents. So, really nice again, new age, but not bad. We're gonna put that to the cart. Let's see what is this? this? Is a London fog, but yeah, with hoodies and jackets, it's just really easy to go through and see what there is versus t shirts. You're gonna be going through for a good amount of time. Another new age Nautica 549, so it's gonna be two dollars and uh, fifty cents, basically two dollars and sixty cents. Basically, what I do is I put everything in my cart. What's this Tuffy Jack? Never even heard of it. Seems like it's like a cropped woman's jacket. But what I do is I put it in the cart and then I'll adjust or I'll look for stains and uh, stuff like that. Banana Republic 1050. I will say I was talking to my friend the other day or last week and she even said like the prices are going up. Um, before everything used to be, oh look at this bootleg Tommy Hilfiger 550. I'll probably get that. The zipper's broken. Actually, I don't know. Maybe I'll leave this for somebody else. It's nothing too special. And the zipper's broken unfortunately. But uh, everything used to be like $5, now they're starting to put $7, $10. So the prices are definitely going up, which I hope it's not because of my videos, because I've said that this is the cheapest Salvation Army. There's another Nautica, a little like flannel. A little like uh, the hippie jacket, as they call it. Overalls. Talia. All right, let's see if we can check the sweaters. So basically I'll do the jackets, I'll do the sweaters, and then I'll move on to the t-shirts, which is down there. They do have sometimes jackets like hitting right here. Like look at this Zara buttoned up. Oh, I thought it was a jacket. No, just a Zara. But look at this, $15. I've never seen anything at this store for $15. So they're definitely raising the prices for some reason. Such a little Polo Ralph Lauren. Little like navy jacket, bomber style, 750 again, 50% uh, off. Usually these jackets would be like 550. Um, I might get this. It's nothing really too crazy. It does have the nice little plaid liner, uh, but we'll see for condition-wise and everything. You know, I will say for t-shirts here, I've never really found anything too good. It's mainly just washed-up shirts. Now maybe it's because people come here and get all the good ones first, or maybe they just don't get any good ones at all. But I don't think I've ever found nice t-shirts. Usually I just find like nice jackets or like button downs. What's this? Oh, nothing special. So I've been trying to find some dressier clothes lately. I just found like this velvet sports coat. The shoulders and everything fits really nice, but it seems like the sleeves are like a little bit too long. 
I'm not sure, I mean, I guess maybe that's how it's supposed to fit. Kind of different. Again, it's like a velvet. I'm just trying to find nicer clothes, you know, if I want to go and be dressier, I can wear, you know, jeans, for example, like this, a nice shirt, and just a nice little jacket. I did find another jacket in here that I'm going to try on, but this one's not bad. This one is way too big. This is actually Zara Men. Uh, I didn't see a size on it though. I just tried it on, but this one's way too big. You could tell the difference. The lighting is here better, so I'm actually going to try on the other black one to see if I show you guys a little bit better fit. Yeah, I think I'm going to get this one, especially for the price. Uh, it's $3. If I need to go anywhere dressy, this is going to be perfect. Again, you probably can't tell, but it's like a velvet material, um, and I think it fits me pretty nice. The sleeves are pretty long, but the shoulders fit good. When I close it, it fits nice, little slim fit, so grab this well kind of continuing down the dress shirts i found this zara like greenish uh slim fit button down um i usually would not wear a shirt underneath so i'll just figure that but i do really like this colorway uh, it's nice with blue jeans you can wear with black jeans khaki obviously it's wrinkled but again i'm just trying to be you know a little bit more grown up your boy is getting older so we gotta get the nice dress shirts so i might pick this up uh, it's only like two dollars and again it's zara a little short than my liking but i think that's how dress shirts are supposed to be i'm so used to like t-shirts being long so we might pick this up so these are the items i'm gonna be leaving with the new age tommy hill figure i decided to leave with the nautica fleece the spell out the zara button down and then the dress or sorry the dress um sports coat and then the Polo Ralph Lauren Little Essentials uh, zip-up jacket. <laughs> the guy that uh, was doing the cashier, uh, we came, me and my friend came here Friday or Saturday and she wanted a pair of boots. I think they were asking 20, she ended up getting them for $6 and it was the same guy. He's like, oh, are you going to try to talk me down this time like your girl did last week? And I was like, oh no, nah, like it's 50% off, I don't need to, uh, I don't need any discounts. Uh, but I ended up getting the five items for $15, so basically $3 an item. Can't go wrong. Like I said, with Goodwill prices, I'm going to be spending $15 on one t-shirt. So I figured, you know what, uh, I might as well, you know, come to Salvation Army and we can get some good stuff. But now I'm going to quickly look up some thrift stores in the area and hit up some thrift stores. It is hot. It is lunchtime. I am going to need to get some food soon. But let's continue this trip to the thrift and let's get it guys. You know, one thing that I've seen comments before is that some people are like, yo, why don't you show Miami, like show places to eat, places to go. And I've thought about making those types of videos, but I feel like no one would actually watch it. So I'm curious, let me know in the comments down below, would you guys enjoy that type of content where I come down to Miami, show you guys maybe local spots to eat, uh, local spots to maybe visit if you're here on vacation, whether it's sightseeing or activities to do. Um, like I said, I'm really trying to change up the content for 2020. Obviously, I'm still making thrifty videos like I am today, but I really want to, you know, change the content, do something different. Um, I've been making thrifting videos for three, four years now, and it's just like, it's starting to get stale at the point. I want to start mixing things up. So if you guys would like to see that, again, give me some suggestions in the comments down below on what videos you guys would like to see. Well, I just got, yo, I'm looking mad pale. I need to get some sun. Like my forehead's looking white. But I just pulled up to thrift store number two. I was here the other day. Um, if you guys didn't see, make sure you guys go check out the video where I came to thrift stores looking for the most expensive item. Uh, this was one of the thrift stores just because this thrift store is kind of expensive, but sometimes they do have good deals. So I figured, you know what? We're in the area. Might as well just stop by quickly, see if they have anything new. I'm sure they get new stuff every single day because, you know, why wouldn't they? It's a thrift store, so. Let's hope we find some good things and not super expensive. Oh man, look at this long line though. I almost wish I don't find anything because look how long this line is, yo. And it's like carts full of stuff like this. It's not like it's one or two items. And people don't even move, so you run into them and push them and shit. Like fuck. Oh, here we go. Some Jordans. Chicago 10s. 12s. Let's see how much they want. see how much these are $30 size 12 and these are size 12 also how much is this this doesn't have a price let me see the condition on them so I don't know if these are authentic but I just found golden goose superstars 
fifteen dollars. If you guys don't know, these are very expensive. They usually retail for dumb money. I'm gonna do some research to see if these are authentic or not. But yeah, we just filling up the cart today. What else? Do we got some Supras. So I don't even know what these are. Like Fusion Sevens. Uh, thought these were Yeezys at first, like even fake ones. But now nah, it's. I don't even know what brand this is. Of course, today I'm not making an expensive video. Look at this Versace Classic V2. Just like a little black shirt. 60 bucks though. Damn. Well, I didn't find any clothing here, but I am leaving with the three pairs of shoes. Basically, we're leaving with both Jordans and then the Golden Goose. These Golden Goose are authentic, which is kind of crazy because these retail and still resell for a lot of money. So. I'm not exactly sure how much the Jordans are. I think they're 30 40 dollars, but I guess we'll see. Oh, I hope I don't have to get in this long line. You know what? I'm gonna try to go to the front and see if I can kind of finagle and skip the line. So I literally just skipped this whole entire line. Like the whole entire thing. I literally walked up to the front and people forget that there's an express line and I literally just walked in and got the stuff. No, thank you. Uh, I ended up leaving the Chicago 10s and the only reason why they wanted $70 for them. I was like, what? I was like, there's a price tag that says $30, $40 on it. And they're like, oh no, we don't go by the price, we go by the bottom of the shoe. So I ended up getting the Golden Goose and then the Playoff 12s. So I mean, I guess that's still a good cop. Uh, I'm gonna quickly clean them up, throw them on OfferUp because obviously OfferUp is way better than shipping. But I wish I would've got those uh, Chicago 10s. Those were in much better condition than the 12s also. But I'm not gonna pay them $70. I mean, maybe I can sell them for 100, but to spend 70 to only make $30 isn't worth it at all. Uh, if they were $40, I was gladly gonna pick them up for 40, but for 70, it's just, nah, not worth it. So I guess let's hit up another thrift store and kind of continue because we got bags. So to take a little break from thrifting, I'm gonna see what I can find. I have no idea where I am. I'm in Miami. Um, for people that, if you guys don't know or if you didn't realize, obviously I don't live in Miami. I live in a city called Fort Lauderdale. Now Fort Lauderdale is about 30 to 45 minutes away from Miami. Um, so I'm gonna try to see if I can find some food in the area. I am pulling up to Target because my friend, I got her some uh, truffle dove like milk chocolates and she's obsessed with them and she's like yo if you find a target by you check to see because it might be on like clearance for Valentine's Day so I'm gonna run into Target see if they have it sitting for her just you know help her out get her some chocolates um, but I'm gonna see if we can find some good food and I like my plan or the goal is to find food that um, isn't a chain that I've never been to maybe something like little hidden gem I'm gonna see. So I'm gonna quickly look up on Yelp, see if I can find anything. We are pulling up to Target, so let's go to Target, see if we can find her the milk chocolates. There's a KFC literally right in front of me, and honestly, that fried chicken sounds so good right now, but like I said, I don't want to chain. I want to try to eat something where I've never been before and try to something new. Uh, you know, maybe I find a new, my favorite place, so let's do that. But first, like I said, let's pull up to Target. Let's see if there's any uh, Valentine's Day candy on sale or clearance. It's been like five days. I think today is the 17th, uh, so there's probably not any, but I told her that I would uh, check out and see if they have it, so let's go check it out. Well, I think I was a little too late, because look at all they have. Those even like, those aren't even the heart reaches. Look at the, oh, just kidding. The back wall of candy. They're probably not gonna have the ones I want though, or the ones that she wants. I don't even want them. I haven't even tried them. I just kind of gave it to her and she's like, oh my God, these are the best things ever. Let's see if uh, we can find them though. Probably not, because they were dove like this, but not with peanut butter. Mm. So unfortunately, I didn't find the exact one she was looking for, but they did have these, uh... sorry, excuse me. They did have these milk chocolates. Um, she wanted, or she likes the Dove like milk chocolate truffles. These are just milk chocolate. They're on clearance. I figure you know what, any chocolate's better than nothing. So I'm gonna pick these up for her and drop them off at home. Uh, I'm not seeing her today or anytime soon, but you know, surprise people with chocolate, they gotta love it. So I'm gonna quickly get this and let's see if we can find some nice food to eat around here. Okay, so a little bit change of plans. I was gonna, like, I looked up all over places for food. A lot of nice places, but for some reason I'm craving, like, a pokey or, like, sushi or seafood. I'm always, like, in the mood for sushi. I'm always in the mood for poke. I haven't had a poke bowl in a while, so I think I'm gonna get a poke bowl, 
but I'm passing my friend's house on the way to Poke Bowl, so I figured, you know what, let me just go drop off the chocolates. She's probably super busy today. I'll ask her, I'll say, hey, do you wanna get lunch real quick? If not, then I'm just gonna quickly get a poke bowl. Or I'm gonna ask if she wants to go to that buffet, which I showed you guys the other day, and a lot of you guys were like, yo, that's not good, like a sushi buffet. But honestly, it's really fresh. They make it right then and there, and that place is brand new, like they just opened, so. I imagine the food's gonna be good for the meantime and it'll probably go to shit like later on down the road. But um, I'm gonna ask, I'll be like, yo, you wanna go to the buffet? It's right down the street. Let's go get some food real quick. Um, if not, then I'm gonna go and get a poke bowl, but I, I figured I would let you guys know, you know, because I'm gonna quickly drop off the chocolates and then I, I don't know. I don't I, I always feel like I gotta update you guys. I'm trying to get in the swing of where I'm talking more to you guys, so more it's like more of like a vlog because I've noticed my videos, I'll like do the intro. I'll do like 12 minutes of content and then I'll do the outro. I don't really like get personal with you guys. I don't really talk to you guys. So I'm really trying to communicate more and try to get on a, you know, more of a friendly vlog, I guess you could say. I don't really know. But let's go drop off these chocolates and hope that she likes it. But I'm here. Okay. Bye. Oh, you're getting in too? I thought you were just coming up to the window. I have a bunch of shit. Well, I went to Target and they didn't have the ones you wanted. Why are you recording it? Because I went, I showed them how I went to Target. So it's like part yeah, of my day in the great. life. But, I don't know. Uh, these are the only milk chocolate ones that they had. I guess it's the same thing, no? No, the other ones are truffles. So I think truffles are like Yeah, that's soft. texture. Yeah, because I thought it was weird. But, you can have, oh yeah, those are mine. So like I said, I've never, I didn't try the ones that she actually likes. She's like, oh, I have something for you. I was like, oh, okay. So I was thinking, oh, okay, she's nice. She saved me some, you know. Dude, she saves me one chocolate. <laughs> well, thank you for the one. It's really worth it because they're really good. Let's see. Let's see if it's worth it. But look at the texture inside. See? Okay, let's try it right now. Just leave it. Those are going to be hard. Yeah, these are good. That's because it's soft. Those are gonna be harder. Well, they're on so. I feel like such a fat ass right now. Yeah. The fact that we're doing this is ridiculous. Well, you, I didn't tell you to open it. Oh, now I gotta eat that too? I was gonna ask if you wanted to go to the buffet. Oh, yeah. that's hard. I got salmon in the house. It's hard. So yeah, you have salmon with, with the eel texture. sauce. Okay, well then I'll keep a bag if you want it. I don't like chocolate anyways, I keep it, it was a dollar. Give it to your mom. But I wanna find those, the truffles. CVS. Well, I will I will admit, the ones that I first got here, those truffles are way better than the normal chocolate, but they were a dollar, like it is what it is. I told her, I was like, I'm gonna throw it away if, if you don't want it, it's not a big deal. Um, so, she, I invited her to get uh, food. She said no, that she actually just made salmon. So basically, it made myself think like, do I really wanna go out and spend money on food? Like I have food at home as well. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna head home. I'm gonna show you guys the pups because I saw someone's comment. They're like, yo, you don't show your dogs anymore. Do you still have your dogs? So I'm gonna show you guys Captain and Jackson. And then we'll probably make some food and just kinda continue. I know today's supposed to be like a trip to the thrift and it's obviously turning into like a vlog, but um, yeah, I'm gonna head back home from Miami and I'll catch up to you guys once I get back. So on my way home, there was a Salvation Army. I figured, you know what, let's stop in here. I used to come here, this is the one I would actually start at uh, back in the day, Wacky Wednesday. would come here every single Wednesday, but this one just got too expensive for me, sadly. So I go to the one in Miami now. But I figured, you know what, let's just quickly run in, see if there's anything sitting. Probably not, but hey, content is content, so let's see. Jeez, look at these, Nike Air Force One, size 15. These things are huge, $17 half off though. I don't know, these things, like look how soft that sole is. I don't know, it feels super weird. Look at these like desert boots. All right, let's go to the jacket section. Look at this pull cart of shoes. I wonder if that's somebody's shoes or if that's just stuff they have to put back. Well, just like that, we're in and out. I literally couldn't even find anything. Um, literally not, nothing to even show you guys on camera, so we're just gonna head home. Uh, but I figure, you know what, if I don't stop, I never know, so let's head home, see the pups. Damn, I will say this furniture is super nice though. This coffee table, 130, with all the matching little side tables. This one's 60, this one's 80. Nice little set. Got Captain. Then we have 
have the loud mouth over here, Jackson. I know, you guys are always barking. Always barking. What, you guys wanna go out? I know, I know. Go potty that way, that way, no, that way. Go outside that way. Cap, go potty. Jackson's going. You know what, I made an executive decision. I already have today's video like already uploaded. I made it yesterday, it's already ready to go. All I have to do is press public. It's 3.30 right now. I kinda wanna go and lay out at the beach, so that's exactly what I'm gonna do. It's the thing I love about working for myself, being self-employed, I can literally do anything I want. It's a beautiful day out. I don't really feel like working anymore. I already hit up the thrifts, I got some stuff. So let's now relax. I'm gonna go there, I'm probably gonna get some food there. Um, I don't know if I should continue this video and like bring you guys along or if I should just kind of end the video. I don't know, I'll decide what I decide, but I am gonna go lay out by the beach and kind of just hang out and relax for the rest of the day. So I guess I will either catch up to you guys to do an outro or I will catch up to you guys once we get to the beach. Uh, I swear this is paradise, just living the life. Hanging out by the pool right now. It's probably so bright you can't even see. Gonna get some food soon, probably order a beer. Just chilling. Well, I just made it back from the beach. I am a mess. I need to quickly take a shower, make some food, because your boy is starving. But I hope you guys did enjoy today's vlog. If you did, make sure you smash the thumbs up button, subscribe if you're not subscribed. Check out the other videos. Check out link down below, emcvlogs.com. I'll see you guys tomorrow for another video at 8 p.m. And don't forget, guys, let's get it. <laughs>